What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. It's another car boot one today. Um, I'm about 10 minutes late because I had a curry last night, so I'll leave that to your imagination. Uh, but yeah, I'm now about to head off. Today is a car boot video though with a twist. And it's going to be sort of mini series that I'm going to be doing over the next sort of month or so. Um, exactly the same sort of format as the car boot, but with one goal in mind. I've got a gig coming up in about a month's time that I'm going to with Frankie Harry, another YouTube reseller, I'm sure you know of him. Um, if you don't subscribe to him down here, I'll put his name sort of there-ish. But basically, we need somewhere to stay. I've only got a little car. He doesn't have a car because he's come from Northern Ireland. So basically, I'm going to try and trade up from about £35. I reckon that's about 1% because I reckon I can get a good one for about maybe three and a half grand. And that's including the van and maybe fixtures and fittings and stuff like that. It's going to be done on the right budget just in time. It's not going to be like a forever job. This is just to get me there. And it's just to have a good time in really. So we'll see how good it is, but it's also a testament to see how much you can earn just in a month, just from eBay and Depop sales. So now after the first one of the series, let's go. Whew, talk to the devil. Well, something like that would be perfect. I know T4s are a lot of money, especially those ones, but it would be very nice. Yeah, and I think that probably tells you all you need to know. All right, so that's probably it for this one. Um, there's another one in the area, but I reckon that's probably like exactly the same rained off as well. All right, so we did make it to the next one. And there are a couple of bits here. This is super faded and it's got a mark on it, but I just needed something to cover fuel. That'd probably be like a tenner. But this bag is super sick, this little Pullman one. Really like that. That'd be great for festivals. That was £1.50. <laughs> All right, just a few more bits that I didn't get to show you. Um, this one is very nice quality. It is an LK Bennett dress. Some of these I know can go for really good money, some not so much, but this one is patterned, so it should do pretty well. This was four pound. Um, and then this was just a pretty new age, probably 2010s animal tea. Um, that was a pound. And then lastly, we've got these pair of Dewberry cords. Not a brand I've ever picked up before, but they felt quality and they are, so they were four pound. Okay, that wraps up Saturday's car boot. Overall, pretty good in the end, considering how rainy it was this morning. Uh, but luckily did manage to get to this one today. Sun's come out really nice. Found some really good bits in the end. Those fear of gods though are extremely fake. So yeah, I wish I hadn't picked those up, but they're only like £1.50, so there's nothing really lost there. And the Adidas bag is a really cool one, considering I sold one less than a week ago on Monday's car boot. Um, so yeah, some really good bits going into Sunday. I'll see you then. Right, really busy. I didn't get a chance to show you everything again, but I am hoping to invest in a GoPro so I can show you everything a lot easier. and back like two weeks later than we should have been uh, but it's been a lot going on in personal life i'm sure you can understand so getting back into the youtube now everything's already on the chair i'm not going to throw it all right maybe one thing okay getting it over this is a 1970s or 80s maybe uh adidas by peter black bag um really weird because i sold one literally the other week at the car boot wasn't planning on selling it it was my daily um but yeah sell for a good price and I got this one as a replacement so this one was £10 lovely front and back design um, really good condition not much wear to it at all should get maybe £50 plus hopefully so yeah really happy with that okay staying in the 80s starting off with this it is a lovely 1980s top man jumper on that lovely tag that you don't see enough of anymore 
Um, but the colours on this are really awesome. That'll be stashed away until autumn for a little post. But yeah, really nice, good, thick, quality yarn. I think it is 100% wool as well. It is made in England, so yeah, really nice one. Paid a pound on that. Looking to get maybe 25 to 30, hopefully. Something a little bit more modern now is this big old Tommy Jeans embroidered spell out sweatshirt. Quite a nice one at that. Um, a few years ago, this would have gone for a load more because Tommy and Ralph was doing really well on Depop at the time, but still pretty nice nonetheless. This one's got a little embroidered flag just down there on the other side on the sleeve. So yeah, and he paid three quid for it. Should get maybe 25 to 30 on that, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, this next item was just simply to cover my fuel on a day that it was raining loads. Uh, but it is this just simple plain black Nike hoodie, full zip, with a little embroidered swoosh just there. Um, yeah, pretty basic, few marks. Paid a pound, I think it was. Should get maybe 10 pound tops. Okay, and next up we've got this really nicely faded 90s sweatshirt with a really creepy as hell guy just on the front there, peering through his legs like he's looking at kids, really dodgy. Um, but yeah, this is an Ohio State University one on a very nice old 90s merino tag. That was a pound, should get maybe 10 to 15 on it, it'd be more. If you didn't have a massive hole in the back, I might try and patch that up. But it looks like, I can fit my whole fist through that. But it looks like someone's just ripped out a security tag on that. So yeah, 10 to 15 on that, I'd be pretty happy. Okay, so for some reason, I thought it'd be a good idea to venture out into the dress market. Not a good idea, because these go for literally 15 to 20, even on these sort of polka dotty pattern ones. Um, but I still make money on it, it was only three pound. Um, just want to remember for the future, but some of these can go for really good money. As I said, it is an LK Bennett, so definitely a tag to look out for. Um, but yeah, just do your research. Okay, so now I'm gonna rattle through the jeans, starting off with the fakest fear of God jeans you ever did see. I don't know why I picked them up really. For some reason, I didn't look at it properly. So the tag there looked pretty good, pretty legit. Um, I think somewhere one of the other tags says made in USA. And then on another one, it literally says made in China. If you can see that, so yeah. I don't know how I didn't spot that to be fair, but no big loss. They're only like £1.50, so they don't matter. Um, these ones are a pair of Dewberry Cords. I've never seen that brand before, but on eBay, they're going for about £25 to £30 in sort of micro cord pattern. So yeah, pretty happy with those. They were £3, I think, with the dress. Um, pair of simple Armani jeans with a little metal wing logo there. These are, I think, probably a 26 waist or something like that, 26, 32 regular. Um, so yeah, not too much money in those. They were three pound, maybe get 20. And then the last one, are these really weird. They would have been really nice Levi's cords, but they are cut offs like three quarters. So I'm probably gonna hem them around here. And if they fit me, if I lose a bit of weight, I might just wear those for summer. Okay, moving on to t-shirts. Starting off with this it is a, I think it's literally last year, guest t-shirt. It was two pound, ignore the tag there. I brought it with me to the pop-up, but this one didn't sell. Um, but yeah, just £2, should get maybe 15 to 18 on that in summer. Full embroidered spell out, quite a nice one. Along with this one from the same person, it is an early 2000s Armani jeans tee. Couple marks on that up there. Might give it a bit of soap, see if they come out. Um, but quite nice all over sort of print on the front. Okay, got these next two items for a quid from the same person. It is this really nice, big old England training top. To be perfect for the World Cup that's coming up later this year i think november december something like that um so yeah christmas world cup but yeah this was a quid um nice little embroidered logo there so it should get maybe 20 to 25 on that and then this one is absolutely ruined i might just throw it away to be honest or someone just have it for postage if you want it it's yours it's a size small assassin's creed 3 i think it's 2012 or something when this came out um but it looks like it's just been chewed by a mouse to be honest so it's on quite nice fruit loom heavy cotton tag but it's just a shame because it's pretty ruined and covered in marks. So yeah, might just throw that one away. Okay, a couple of summer staples now. Just this, quite nice animal tee. Um, big front graphic and one on the back as well. Probably about 10 years old. That was a quid, should get maybe 10 pound on that. Uh, and then onto this, it's quite nice. Ralph Lauren uh, polo. Big, big color blocking on that as well. Embroidered horse. Should get maybe 20 on that, that was two pound. And then lastly, a little white one as well. Pretty much the same, um, with the three on the arm, rugby style. This was two pound again. Okay, my favorite pickup of the entire video is this pretty techie sort of rave jacket from Nike. Proper early 2000s with a sort of uh, Nike Hex sort of early TN styling. 
but it's not. It's just plain basic Nike. Quite a nice sort of spell out on the arm there as well. Um, this one was just two pound, was it three, something like that. Um, just on the old grey tag there. Um, but yeah, really nice sort of details inside the hood and stuff like that. Playing on the back with the colour blocking, that was three pound, should get maybe 25, 30 on that. This was another really cool one, nice early 2000s diesel puffer, it's women's, um, with a really nice sort of arm patch there, sort of metallic and leather and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, no rips or holes or anything in it. Very, very light staining on the cuffs. So I'm just gonna give that a bit of a wash or dry clean or something like that and see if that comes out. But yeah, quite nice, got a concealable hood as well. That was three pound, should get maybe 50. And the final pickup for the video is just a simple barber jacket. They always have a really good sell through rate on eBay. This one is an extra small grass track jacket, I think. So it's the plain quilter jacket with a bit of a fleecy lining, which is a little bit more sought after. So again, more of a winter item, I'll stash it away. But that was just three quid. Should I get maybe 35 to 40. But yeah, that should earn some good money towards the camper, hopefully. Um, I have already earned a little bit of money towards it from two items that you remember not seeing in there. That little colorful Pullman bag that went for 20 pound at the pop-up as well as the new pair of Dickies, they were £25, so that's £45 already, which is, I think, the cost of everything here. I did go £10 over the £35 limit, so I spent £45 in the end, but still roughly about 1% of a decent van, because they do go for about £4,500, three and a half, anywhere, sort of between that range. But yeah, thank you guys as always for watching. If there is anything that you like, just drop me a message on Instagram. So, double underscore vintage. Um, if you guys could like, subscribe, as always, that'd be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you guys in the next video, hopefully out on Thursday. So that'll be the weekend just gone in this car boot. So yeah, see you guys in that one. Peace.